I'm now back with a long overdue video. I've been sitting on this video a while because I've been like, oh, you know, just worried about what everybody would think. But you know what? I'm just going to figure all of that. But I'm starting by pinning my hair back and I'm going to brush my eyebrows up with a spoolie. I mean, look at them eyebrows, y'all. They actually look pretty good here. I don't even know why I just kept brushing them up like that. I'm kind of OCD. But I'm starting to use my tweezers and tweezers and I'm plugging them. I used to actually have one of those little razors that you get from the beauty supply store, but since I live in Germany now, you can't get that. Well, actually, no, I saw them in DM, but I think I'm too lazy to go and buy some more. So I just used what I had at the house. And now I'm taking my Manhattan brow pencil in the color brownie. And I'm just outlining my eyebrows and then filling them in. I try not to make them too dark though, but I think this one's gonna end up really dark because I wasn't really paying attention. And I think, I don't know why, but my skin was really dry and I had already prepped and prime off camera, but I think it had already dried. So my skin was like really tough, so I don't know. This eyebrow like really frustrates me. It's the ugly sister, you know? It doesn't want to act right but the left one's fine and usually I have more problems with that one than the right but that day ooh. yeah so if you also see me looking into the left of my um, camera I there's a bigger mirror than the one that I'm using in front of me so now I'm gonna take my foundation and I'm gonna go under my eyebrows just to clean them up a little bit. I usually do this actually with the Pro Conceal color and Fawn, but I just ran out of that off camera so I had to throw it away. So I was like, you know, let's improvise and put my foundation under it. Actually, I like it better and I've started to use it that way because it just kind of blends in with the skin. There's like no, you know, under, what's that, under, <laughs> under brow brightness? Is, what, is, what is that? <laughs> Y'all tell me, what is that? And I usually don't go over the top either, but like I was saying, like today, both eyebrows were giving me a bit of a mess. So I was like, let's clean this up. And I also, I feel like I made them too dark, but we're going to see if it's better by the end of the video. And yeah, so I just take this flat brush. I think I got this from an Eco Tools uh, brush packet a long time ago but I just kept it and I don't know what happened to the other ones so yeah I'm gonna take my pro conceal color in warm honey and I just dab that all over my eyes what I do is pat I don't like smear or you know wipe it I just kind of pat it in so you can keep the color and then I use my uh, morphe palette in n35 and I took that reddish color and put it right into my crease And y'all, when I'm laughing and looking back, I'm not talking to myself. My boyfriend was actually in the room. <laughs> so yeah. And then after that, I took this brown color from the palette and I put it right under that crease. And that color as a transition color. I don't know if you would consider that, but y'all teach me the terminology because I have no idea. I'm just showing y'all my everyday routine. And I know that it kind of looks like nothing right now, but yeah, I go for the really muted colors. And then I took another um, purple color from the palette and put it right in the corner of my eye, just to lighten up my eyes a little bit, because I feel like I have a little bit of a, a dark eye problem. You know, when you have like your pupil and your eyes just kind of mesh together, so it's like really, really black or dark brown. So to bring the color out, my natural color is brown. You just put a little lighter color in the corner. And then I use my Urban Decay Illuminator in the color Lit and put it right in the middle of my eye. And yeah, thank you Fatima for buying this for me for a Secret Santa. I really, really love it. And now I'm using my Kisses Natural Eyelashes. Y'all, y'all have no idea, but I had to fight to get these. My best friend came over from the States maybe a month ago now, and I told her to bring as many lashes as you can. 
Like it's so hard to get here in Germany, especially Berlin, because I think they get the eyelash extensions. And I'm also using, uh, what is it, the hair bond glue, hair glue to actually keep my lashes on because they seem to be better um, at keeping my lashes on all day and them not coming off or, you know, sweating off or whatever throughout the day. So, yeah, I know y'all probably like, what, girl, what? And it's black. <laughs> but if you can do it right, then, you know, the black line doesn't show up. And I know for some people, like, it's weird to go in the middle of their eye first. I know they start from the corner to put their lashes on. But because my eyelashes are so curly and my eyes are kind of, like, slanted up a little bit, that's what I have to do. And so I'm going to go in now with my foundation that I used earlier under my under eyebrow and put that all over my face. And y'all, I'm really sad because I went into DM to get this. And yes, I live in Berlin, so I guess they weren't expecting... <laughs> Oh, what's that? I guess they weren't expecting girls to be as dark as me or darker. There's like no shade darker than this one. And it just so happened that this, you know, I was lucky enough for this to match my skin color. And that's actually really sad. So brands come to Germany, come to Germany. We need y'all. I also am just using this foundation because it's actually pretty build. It's actually pretty buildable. And so when I feel like, you know, oh, there's some spots that I need to conceal more or hide more because my face actually was broken out, I just, you know, build it and it looks nice. And this is also a matte foundation because I have fairly oily skin right now. And so I'm going to go in with my Pro Conceal concealer in the color of Warm Honey and I put that under my eyes on the tip of my nose, in the middle of my forehead, in the middle of my nose, and the middle of my chin and above my lip and so I just pat that in with a beauty blender actually that's not a beauty blender like it's just a regular makeup sponge not even gonna fry it but yeah just pat that in make it look nice and then bring it down some people forget to bring it down over their cheek because when you start to contour it is no you know color down there when you contour it's gonna look weird so make sure everything is blended and even and then you'll be on your merry little way y'all don't mind that little light fixture we had to put that up there because the light the original light broke i don't know what happened so we have to wait on the maintenance man to come and fix it so that's why we have our light like that <laughs> and then i'm taking my cat bundy lock it powder translucent powder and i'll just pat that into my face where I highlight it but the thing is like I don't bake I don't like the way that looks so I just kind of pat it in and I know that it's just because it's a white translucent powder I know some people might be scared of it looking white or cakey or anything it actually doesn't do that if you put the right amount so you take a little amount and then just pat it in to where it looks like it's blended to move the camera i don't know what was happening but the light did mess up <laughs> after that i go back in with that brown color that i put in my crease and i put it under my eye and just blend that out a little bit and then i don't know why but for some reason i like my lower lashes to be long because the eyelashes that i have on are actually really really long so in order to make it look a little bit more natural like they're my actual eyelash. I go over the lash line, the bottom. I don't know why I keep biting my lip, y'all. I have a problem. Does anybody else like bite the skin off their lip? That's a problem. But yeah, so I'm starting to contour and I just go under my face, under my cheekbone to find where to contour. And I use my Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, Tan to Deep Contour Palette. And I use the last two um darkest colors and i mix them in that pillow over my face over my forehead under my cheekbones under my face and on my nose i don't really have to create a nose bridge but i guess for today i was really feeling that because i feel like i lost a lot of it when i was petting in that concealer let me fix that nose ring who else knows rings that that does that? <laughs> I can't even talk. <laughs> but yeah, that's a problem for me. And then I get my sleek makeup blush and I put that over my cheekbones, smile a little bit. Because I feel like my cheeks kind of get lost in my face. 
so I have to smile and figure it out. I don't know what I'm looking for, y'all. I have no idea. Because I shot this a while ago, and I think I got something on my shirt. <laughs> but I sprayed my face with this setting, setting spray that I got from DM. I forget the name of it, and I also don't have it anymore because I think that was the last of it that I used. I know, like, I'm about to fly away with these eyelashes, y'all. And then I just sprayed my face. That's when I put on my... Um, Urban Decay um, Naked Illuminator in the color lit. I've already put it in the video, so I'm not going to do it again. But yeah, just on my cheekbones and my eyebrow over my upper lip, tip of my nose, my nose bridge. And I'm looking for something else. I don't know what is wrong with me. I can never find anything when I'm doing my makeup. And it makes me so frustrated. So maybe I should just reorganize and go from there. But I guess when I'm doing it every day, it's like things tend to get lost. So can't really be mad at myself. But then I take this liquid liner. And really, you can just do those like beauty molds with any liquid liner. I forgot which one that one is. I think it's P2 from uh, DM. And then I go back over my eyebrows with the Max Factor um mascara it just makes my eyebrows look really um defined and they're gelled down in a way so yeah now let's get rid of <laughs> let's get to this hair girl let's get to this hair because y'all know i just took my dreads out so now i have loose hair again and it's really weird so you know i i try bear with me i try <laughs> My best friend showed me a little technique before she left, so uh, I was just using it and see what using it to see what happened. And I don't know, maybe it comes out cute. I can't remember. I remember this day. It just it was a lot. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. It was a lot. Yeah. Who else gets those little like beads of hair that get stuck at the end when you take your twist down so that's gonna be the most annoying thing about like having loose natural hair because with my dreads i didn't have that and yeah i skipped because it took me such a long time to take it down but then i just started teasing it with my hands and creating a shape and form for the hair and i just noticed i have something white in my hair i don't know what that is but yeah so i started gelling, gelling down my edges and the thing is, like, y'all, I've never done edges before, but I also don't like the extreme edge look where, you know, you take a lot of your hair and there's so many edges. So I just really, honestly, just take some gel and just comb the hair back, honestly. Like, because, I mean, <laughs> my edges are supposed to look natural. They're not supposed to be looking straight, you know? So I just do what I can and fix it up a little bit. And I always have this one little hair right there that just doesn't want to lay down. But just going to do it today because I ain't got time. Yeah, I tease it out somewhere. I don't know why, but sometimes it gets a little flat and I have to fix it. But yeah, fix it up a little bit. And then the corners, like my sideburns are so cute. Like I think that's my favorite part of like having loose natural hair is that my sideburns can lay down. It's so cute, y'all. But yeah. <laughs> Slight work, y'all. Slight work. <laughs> Who do I think I am? Feeling myself now, y'all. Bet you can't see it. So this is the finished look. I'm sorry if I sound sick. I am sick. But yeah, so I just wanted to do a little video on what I would normally do on a daily basis. Of, like makeup and hair. So yeah. I'm still getting used to my hair because I have dreads and I didn't have to do this before. So I have a friend's uh, album release party to go to. Uh, one of my good, good friends is a backup singer tonight. So I told her that I would come even though I'm sick. So yeah, go and support your friends, guys. Like, they really need it. So yeah, this is a little look. And I'll take photos, and you can see it on my Instagram. And everything. 